Hello friends, how are you doing today? As part of our 12 week video series, this is the second video. We are going to talk about robotic process automation versus agent based automation. So, when it, basically, when it comes to the automation process, if you are an enterprise dealing with a lot of uh, repetitive processes, batch processes, or testing, all these carry areas can be addressed with the help of your manual automation technique or robotic process automation technique wherein you will not have any AI involved but you have this rule based automation and you may have algorithms to execute this repetitive task with the help of the program or language or an application without any manual interruption. This is kind of a, an automation where you will not have manual interruptions but uh, it is not fully AI based automation. While you are running all these type of automation for your organization, your peers already started exploring about AI agent based automation. So in this video, we are going to see what are all the pitfalls of existing manual or robotic process automation and what are all the benefits of AI agent based automation and how you can achieve these AI agent based automation for your organization effectively. So, Let's start with understanding what exactly the pitfalls of existing robotic process automation or manual automation or any automation technique that you have been following before this AI agent era. So if you are an organization where you wanted to have an RPA based automation, you build the rule based automation with the static rules and it will help you to predict what is the uh, exact problem going to occur when you execute this repetitive task by using this robotic process automation. So in this case, if you are having a website and if you use robotic process automation technique to test that particular website, and if any button changes or color changes, your robotic process automation may stuck here because it's all rule-based and static automation. This is one of the main problems if you are running with RPA. And second thing is if any interface, when your application is connected with another application, and you built this RPA with some static rules, when you have the different types of uh, interfaces, this RPA may fail. And another area is if you are using some particular types of file like PDF, JPEG, and uh, text files, and if there is a new file format comes, your robotic process automation will fail. These are all the problems of existing robotic process automation wherein the requirement changes or the context changes or file type changes will not be handled with the help of this robotic process automation. And let's get into some types of use cases. When it comes to business use cases, you might have adopted this robotic process automation for the customer satisfaction scenario, wherein the customer comes into the chatbot application and shares the information about the product what he or she purchased in your organization and he might uh, talk about the returning process or refund process your robotic process automation may work for the set of rules whatever you already defined and if there is a new rule comes in in terms of returning and refunding process your rpa has to be changed and you may need to create new rpa rules and uh, deploy those rules and execute against this particular business use case and when it comes to the interfacing with different applications, you may have the set of rules with the help of RPA processes. And if there is a new application coming in and if you are establishing a new interface, new API call, new messaging system. So these cannot be covered with the existing RPA, rule-based RPA, but you may need to create new rules and new set of automation for testing this particular scenario. And when it comes to finance applications and if you are processing certain types of documentations for your finance customers and the new documentation come into picture, your RPA may not be working. So these are all the key real-time scenarios wherein the RPA may not be able to success. That means your RPA will work fine, but it will not be 100% foolproof with the help of um, the existing AI technology because RPA is not using AA technologies. So these are all the common pitfalls of using existing manual or robotic process automation versus the AA based automation. Let's get into the AA agent based automation and understand what exactly 
the benefit of going with a agent based automation let's start with the, the first pitfall what we discussed here if you have a website wherein you have the buttons and color color of the page and some controls in the website your rpa will work for the designed rules and static rules and it is not going to be predictive but it will react to the changes and it will show it is failed or passed but when it comes to the a agent based automation what it will do it will learn from the mistakes or it will learn from the problems what you, what it sees in the website and learn from it program it automatically and it will fix the problem and it will proceed further and when it comes to interface scenario what we took right if your application is connecting with 10 different applications and if one of the applications is using different interface mechanism in, in case of api or messaging system if you have the rpa based automation process it has to be restructured or recoded and the rules have to be changed but in case of a agent based automation whenever the interface between two different applications changes this particular ai based automation will have the capability to learn what type of interface is needed between two applications and it will learn and connect with these two different applications properly and execute the process flow without any fail and when it comes to the business use cases if you are implementing a agent based automation for automating the task in your customer service management system it will have the ability to learn from the customer's feedback customer's input and also it learns from the knowledge database like um, ikc ibm knowledge uh, documentation process it will help the customers to address the problem very effectively compared to the rpa and also when it comes to the proactive and reactive approach a based automation or a agent based automation has the ability to proactively identify the pitfalls and address those on the flow so these are all the advantages of going with a agent based automation so now if you are an enterprise in some of the lobs you might be already using rpa the robotic process automation or semi automatic autom automation process in your organization and wherein you may need to uh, you may not be able to spend too much for uh, making it as an ai based automation but you have the budget for implementing this solution as a semi automated solution or manual automated solution or robotic process automation solution that is absolutely fine and in case if you have massive volume and less complex applications rpa will be the best fit and if you are having the rule based automation rpa is the best fit you don't need to change and if you have less complex applications and if you have only reactive uh, reactions for any of the testing needs or repetitive uh, task needs rpa is the best choice for you but in case if you have a high complex and massive volume scenarios definitely you must think of going with a agent based automation and in case if you have a complex solution that needs very critical automation process definitely a agent solution is the best one and in case if you want to have an a agent based automation definitely you must consider uh, the existing a framework that can help you to build a proactive a agent based automation technology for your organizations and when it comes to making a decision of like when to go with a manual or rpa based automation and when to go with a agent based solution you definitely have to make a lot of calls with your stakeholders and the lobs and think about all these scenarios whatever we discussed is it a high complex application is it a massive volume application or is it a rule based application or is it a reactive approach is fine or proactive approach is needed all those need to be discussed with your lob and business stakeholders to decide between rpa based automation or a agent based automation and uh, what i would recommend here is if you are an enterprise dealing with multiple applications in multiple lobs go for hybrid approach the hybrid approach is nothing but keeping your rpa based automation for your low complex application or rule based repetitive application processing 
and if you need to have an evidence based op um, automation process just think about applications which are having complex business scenarios or massive volume based scenarios go for agent based automation so the wise choice is always go with this hybrid approach choosing right automation approach for your right application in your organization i have provided the link to download what are all the factors to consider to pick a agent based automation and also i have provided the matrix that will help you to understand the differences between rpa and a agent based automation i hope this video is helpful if you are an automation engineer and if you want to take a right decision between rpa manual automation versus a agent based automation this video definitely will be helpful and in the description i have provided enough materials to download and use it for your organization so as a next step i would recommend you to go and talk to your existing a um team and also existing automation team in your organization and do a, an analysis of like what application needs to be connected with existing manual or rpa based automation and what application needs a agent based automation and do a thorough analysis between these two categories and produce a right rpa or a agent based automation for your applications in your organization if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it and as part of this 12 weeks video series we are going to cover another interesting topic in next week take care bye